Hey, what's up? This is Will from Mikey's RC. Well, I was cruising around on the internet a couple days ago and came across a really cool uh, jet that I really liked. So it's pretty unique. So I thought I'd make a scratch model of it. Here it is. It's a twin ducted fan. It's a model of the uh, Boeing YC-14. So it was an experimental, uh, heavy lifting um, cargo jet that they had made. And uh, anyway, it never really went into production. But it looked like a pretty cool jet, so I thought I'd give it a try. I don't have a lot of high expectations for what this plane is going to do, but you know, if it performs well, we'll see. Uh, kind of experimenting with a different setup on this one, at least for the wing. Um, this time I actually used two pieces of foam board, and I glued them together. And I'm, what I'm hoping for is it's going to give it a little more rigidity, because um, the wing on this is removable. But if you notice, I don't have any spars going up, to, or uh, struts going up to support the wing. Uh, the other thing that I did is I sort of pre-stressed the wing, uh, at least with packing tape. So I put packing tape on the bottom and kind of tried to bow the wing. If you look at it, it's actually got a little bit of a bow, what you might call anhedral or antihedral, I guess, instead of dihedral. Um, of course, once it's under load, the wing's going to flatten out or it'll actually probably flex up a little bit. What I'm hoping the tape is going to do is when this wing is under load, it's actually trying to pull that packing tape apart, which is pretty strong in that direction. So uh, hopefully that's going to enable me to have a removable wing with no struts and uh, still be pretty strong. So let's give it a toss in the air and see how it goes. Okay, well there's one for durability. This thing was in the air and had a problem with my elevator right here but with the linkage. I think when I went full up elevator like that, the, uh, the wind actually pushed it too far. And uh, so anyway, <laughs> sent it straight towards the ground. And if you saw in the video, which I'm sure you did, it uh, did a nose dive right onto the nose. And look at that foam board, it just absorbs all the energy of the impact. I'm gonna go ahead and fly this thing again. I'll fix that when I get home. But everything else on the plane is fine. So yeah, pretty cool. It's uh, And it flew, first time. Pretty quick too at full throttle, so uh, I like that. So let's go ahead and put it up in the air again and see what happens. Wow, just hanging in the air. Could like hover down like a helicopter. Of course, there's a nice little headwind here, but pretty cool. Now that buffeting you're seeing, I think is my tail, actually. Woo, look at that thing bounce around. And uh, that's my son there bouncing around too. But let's see if we can bring this thing in nice and easy. I'm, I like how this is flying. Pretty good for a ducted fan cargo jet. Big porky ball in the sky. So we're gonna put the flaps down. See if we can kind of hover this thing right in. Got a nice, nice headwind. Nice and consistent. Oh, 
Oh, look at that, just like a kite. Wow, look at that thing. Sweet! Twin ducted fan, YCS, uh, YC14. I like it. It's gonna need some modification on that tail because we're getting some buffeting in there, but uh, otherwise, nice. Pretty cool. All right. Oh, this, look at that, on the ground. All right. Wow, well, I was super impressed with how well this thing flew out there. Um, I mean, there's like hardly any airfoil shape to this wing, yet it still just wanted to float in the air real well. So, uh, yeah, anyway, really happy with how it flew. Um, I was able to fly around at about half throttle just to keep it uh, in the air and maintain altitude. I think that's really good for a jet that's as porky and heavy as this. So um, that bodes well for uh, some of the things I'd like to do with this, which includes putting cameras on it. Now, I'm 90% sure that the problem that I had with the tail, that the reason that it actually uh, crashed in the first clip is because when I went to a full up elevator, what happened is uh, the wind actually pushed this thing sort of over center like that. And so it was stuck like that trying to do, you know, full up elevator and the thing just, you know, went like that and eventually hit the ground. So anyway, what I'm going to do instead of making this a flying tail is go ahead and, um, you know, basically fix the uh, elevator and then just make a uh, control surface on the back end of the elevator that moves. That's going to be a real simple fix real quick. Other than that, there's really nothing else to change. Um, like I said, I'm pretty impressed with how this thing flew. I was not expecting a lot because, uh, you know, ducted fans are not known for their... Uh, efficiency. Now, I wasn't able to uh, fly till the batteries were all dead, um, but just by the uh, way that it was flying around, I could tell that it was going to fly for a while and, and be decently efficient. Um, so yeah, I mean, this thing is really easy to build. Um, what I did again with this wing is I just took two pieces of foam board and glued them together, and um, then I sort, of, I sort of bowed the wing like this, and then I put packing tape on the bottom when it was in its bowed form. So anytime there's a load on the wing, anytime it's trying to flex the wing up like this, it's actually stretching the packing tape on the bottom of the wing and therefore um, making it stronger. So there's no carbon fiber in here, there's no barbecue skewers, popsicle sticks, anything like that. It's just two layers of foam board, the lightweight stuff by the way, and some packing tape on the bottom of the wing. So it did really well. Look forward to uh, some more flight videos of this coming up as I do these quick fixes and modifications to it and uh, start having some fun with it. So like I mentioned a couple times in the video, uh, this is a uh, quote unquote scale model of the uh, Boeing YC-14. It was a, um, a prototype for short takeoff and landing. And what they did is they were trying to put the uh, jets on top of the wing to get extra uh, fast flow over the top of the wing. And the, the real life jet actually has uh, flat, really big flaps that come down so that when the air comes out of the jet, it goes and follows the, um, the ailerons or the flaps down and creates extra lift. Um, now at the end of the video, um, when I was landing this, I did have the flaps on and um, it's a little hard for you to tell in the video, but it does create quite a bit of lift. So I might be experimenting possibly with putting some extra uh, material back here so that when I put the flaps down there's even more of a, uh, of a wing shape for that air to follow. But um, I don't think it really needs that. It actually did fairly well um, without it. I just had, I don't know, like 20 degrees of flaps in there and um, did real well. So anyway, thanks for checking out my video of my uh, quirky Boeing jet here and uh, more to come on this. See you later.